Hello everyone, I'm Sharon here. Today I'm going to uh, do a short review for a product um, from L'Oreal. Uh, this is their Revital Leaf series. Uh, it's known as the 1.5 Hydronic Acid Serum. Uh, okay, first of all, right, this product is priced at forty nine ninety. Uh, you can get it online or even like Guardian and Watson's. Okay, uh, what this product aims to do is to give the user a more radiant and bouncy skin in seven days. So let's see if the claims are true. The key ingredients here would be the 1.5% uh, of the hydronic acid serum, uh, which is uh, the highest concentrated uh, version for L'Oreal. And uh, there, there's also another two kinds of hydronic acid in it, one uh, on the macro level and the other one on the micro level. So on the macro level, what it does is that uh, it hydrates our skin. And as for the micro level, right, this hydronic acid actually goes deeper into our skin layers to numb the skin from within. Okay, uh, hydronic acid uh, itself, right, is an ingredient that is very um, popular among many kind of skincare. Uh, what it does there is that um, this acid helps to draw the moisture from the, our environment and onto our skin. Our skin actually produces uh, hydronic acid as well, but as we age, right, uh, our skin will tend to reduce in production in this kind of uh, acid, and as a result, skin will feel like dehydrated easily, and also more wrinkles will appear and loses uh, its plumpness. So it's uh, therefore very important to have uh, this uh, component uh, in our skin. Uh, the serum itself has a gluey texture. Um, when applying on the hand, right, it can feel a little bit sticky, uh, but when you apply it on the face, right, it's totally different. Yeah, it kind of like absorbs instantly. Um, okay, in terms of application, right, it's actually very easy. You just need a coin size uh, serum of this. Uh, you can place it on your palm and then like just uh, gently pat it on your forehead, cheek, chin and the nose area. Yeah, it's that simple. And the plus point is that, right, absorb very well and also uh, it gels very well with my other makeup products and also that uh, this product is um, dermatology tested which means that uh, if you are concerned about the sensitivity I think uh, this product itself uh, is very low in it and also it doesn't contain some of the harsh chemical like parabens and uh, fragrance I'm particularly pleased with this product uh, the reason being that I, I have combination skin so um, Usually combination skin, right, you will have the T-zone um, being oily and the other area uh, of the face uh, being dry. Uh, what it does is that it kind of helps to control my T-zone oiliness as well. Yeah, that's what I quite like it about. And I have been using this product for consistently for around like one week plus and I can see visible result um, of my skin uh, getting more hydrated and radiant. Um, but one thing I dislike about this product is that uh, it can tend to be sticky yeah, when, when you apply it on your hand. But other than that, right, it does a good job in uh, hydrating our face. Uh, for this product, right, I'm going to give a 4.5 uh, uh, rating. Overall, I think this product is an excellent product for hydration purpose. But in terms of uh, value for money, right, you may want to uh, consider uh, for a uh, forty nine ninety dollar price point, uh, for a sole purpose, uh, I feel that it can be a little bit unattractive as compared to products, uh, which comes with like um, helping uh, like to reduce fine lines or even like a brightening effect, gain more popularity. But again, right, um, if your sole concern is only on the hydration side, right, then you need not worry. This is an excellent product, and. If you do have any other thoughts you would like to share with me, you can always comment below and let me know. And if you find that my video is uh, useful to you, um, please like and share with your friends. Thank you!